So before we can crop, we need a photo. So let's go to our photo library, right up the top there, go to my camera roll, and I want to crop the photo of Eric Wynn, who's a videographer at the Chronicle Herald. So right now this is a four by three dimension and I want this to be 16 by nine. So up in the top right hand corner, I'm going to press edit. And uh, I want to crop. So it's the little kind of square with the arrows around it next to the cancel. So I'm going to press that. Okay, so what it's done is kind of tilted it a little bit of it, but I don't need to do that. So I can just, with my finger, move it back to zero. Okay, there you have it. But now I haven't changed it to 16 by nine. So on the bottom right, which is just above the done uh, sign, you will see a bunch of squares. So you're gonna press the squares. And here you have all the choices. So I could put square if I want to, I don't wanna do that. I want 16 by nine because that is the dimension of our top story images. So I'm gonna press 16 by nine. And it automatically kind of scales down here. Um, but is that where I want the image centered? I can move it around. So I take my finger and I can move the image up and down here. So this, he's a little cropped. So I want to move this up. It's not really a good place. So let's go up here. Maybe even up here. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, that's pretty good. We get a really clear view of Eric. So when I'm done, I click done. I save my photo. Okay, and then when I'm ready, I'm going to email it to myself. So I'm gonna click the little share button at the bottom left hand corner and click mail. And then I'm gonna mail it to myself so that I can uh, use it from any computer and go from there.